not. At White Spacewalk, the plan had always been to float around, take some pictures, but we weren't really sure if they could accomplish meaningful tasks. I'm under my own control. So Gemini 9 was going to be the second American spacewalk. It was a longer spacewalk. They had to find a way to send humans out into open space and be able to do meaningful work. In Gemini 9, we had uh, basically two main objectives. One was to de demonstrate three different types of rendezvous. The second one was the first spacewalk completely around the world by CERN, and he was to fly a rocket pack. It was an Air Force experiment called the Astronaut Maneuvering Unit, or AMU. They open the hatch, CERN goes out. The immediate thing that CERN finds is that the tether is fighting him. But he also finds that his suit is fighting him. His suit is ballooned. When it's pressurized, it gets really stiff. But it's pushing his arms together. And he has to expend all this energy to you know, force his arms apart to be able to grab things. The, the gloves are stiff, and it's, it's hard to do any kind of maneuvers. The Gemini suit uninflated weighed 25 pounds. But inflated, it was there. And you move your arm, you had to hold it, wham, it moved back. And the same way with your legs. Cernan right away started to huff and puff, and he was also torquing a spacecraft all around, and I could see him occasionally float by. So he drags himself with his tether, finally gets around to the back of the, of the spacecraft, and starts to try to position himself, because this EVA is supposed to involve this Air Force astronaut maneuvering unit. And he's supposed to pull down the arms and strap himself in and reconnect some hoses and then disconnect this thing. He has no foot restraints. So every time he pushes and tries to get himself in position, because he's in microgravity, he goes moving the other direction. And as he does this, his heart rate's been going up. Astronauts are essentially wearing rubber plastic bags out in space. While that seems fine, you forget that you're still generating body heat, and that body heat has to go somewhere. So he finally got in his, into the backpack, got into position, got this Velcro strap around him, got squared away, and then would do this maneuver in daylight, fly the rocket back. But the moment the sun went down, bang, he fogged. He went blind. He said, Tom, I fogged over. I can't see. I said, OK, Gene, we're calling it quits. 